Well, we have a hero story for you tonight, how a man from Warren drowned while saving the life of a young boy. This was a man who saw combat in the Middle East, but died doing missionary work in, of all places, Indonesia. The heroism of Tim Adams is new at 11. To understand the life of Tim Adams, I met this afternoon with his brother Lenny and Pastor Roy Mack of Grace Fellowship Church in Niles, where Tim attended services. Very humble, very caring and loving. Tim Adams grew up in Warren and was, to the people who knew him, a man who loved life and loved to joke around, like here when he posed in a picture wearing his niece's hat. From Warren, Tim enlisted in the Army, fighting in both Afghanistan and Iraq, where he survived three explosions. He was a combat engineer. Uh, his main duty was to uh, disarm explosives and clear ways for uh, infantry to come in. In January, Tim Adams, now 35, signed on to be a missionary intern through Grace Fellowship and Liberty University, which is how, on March 5th, he ended up swimming with kids off a beach in Indonesia when the water quickly rose above their heads. He stayed out to help to get the kids in, and, and uh, he sacrificed himself for a six-year-old. That six-year-old was the missionary's son named Daniel. In fact... Daniel still had Tim's hat in his hand. He'd put him up on his shoulders to keep him from going under. And literally, I mean, just gave his life to, to make sure that little boy uh, had a life to go to. Looking at the photos of Tim, his brother was not surprised. His brother had died saving a life. That was Tim Adams. The missionary also told Pastor Mac that Tim had decided to dedicate his life to kids, possibly working in an orphanage. You know, he'd carried some guilt for people that he had killed in the line of service and he said you know I want to spend the rest of my life not carrying bullets to other parts of the world but I want to carry the Word of God and live out my life serving Christ this way. The funeral service for Tim Adams will be held Saturday 10 a.m. at Grace Fellowship Church. It will be done with full military honors. We'll be right back.